Hi, everybody. This is Paris Goodyear Brown, and I am um, coming to you to read a story today. I wrote a story called A Safe Circle for Little You a few years ago now, and it was um, meant to help families who have experienced various losses, um, particularly adoptive and foster children. Um, but I have found it to be um, touching people at all kinds of levels. And during COVID-19, I feel that um, creating safe circles within our homes, as we have lost some larger safe circles for the moment, um, is more important than ever. And so I'm going to share the screen now and read to you Safe Circle. Um, it is a narration. So um, you can certainly, this is going to be free to you to allow for um, you to read it to friends and family and clients and whoever. It's free for your use. A safe circle for little you. Once upon a time in an alphabet far, far away lived a little you. Little you always stuck together with Big O. Little you couldn't remember a time when he hadn't been with Big O. Big O loved him, took care of him, showed him the rules of the alphabet, and was his safe circle. Big O could make herself small to play with little you, and together they made a powerful combo. As they stuck together, they told bullies to get out. They helped little ones not to pout. They made sure that no one was without. Every day was a new adventure, and every night when she saw little you begin to get sleepy, O would make herself big again, and little you would hop inside her snug embrace and sleep soundly. Then one day, Big O got small and stayed small. A little you didn't understand why she couldn't get big again. He tried making her big and strong in his own way. He would pump and pump, but slowly she would deflate again. She would start to lose her shape and he would try to make her be like she used to, but nothing he did seemed to work. Finally, when he was looking for one more way to make her big again, she quietly rolled away. Little you was alone. Word spread throughout the alphabet. They noticed that Big O was gone and several letters tried to help. B Big T invited Little U to sleep on him. Little U tried just to be polite, but he was afraid he would fall off and couldn't relax, not really. Big C invited him to curl up in her curve and rest, but her side was too open and it just made him miss Big O more. He couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep, and he had lost his ability to make words. He wanted to shout, but he couldn't even do that. The whole alphabet was troubled and word spread from letter to letter further and further down the alphabet until it reached the Q. The Q had always longed to stick together with someone and said to little you, I would very much like to stick together with you. Little you didn't mean to be rude, but blurted out, you are too small. The Q thought about this and said, I can grow. I can learn to be bigger. And little you took the risk to stick again. After a while, they both found out that when they stuck together, they could do special things, amazing things that no other pair could do. Together they quenched fires, made quirky quadrangles, and they went on lots of quests. And Q learned how to stretch herself. She became a capital Q, and together they could quell an insurrection, make the bad guys quake in their boots, and quiet the fears of little U. One night, when they were both tired but happy from their latest quest, Q took a risk of her own. Would you like to slide up and sleep inside my circle? I know I can never take the place of Big O, but I can give you my safe circle whenever you need it. Little U felt a surge of hope. He had secretly been longing to crawl up inside Q's circle for a while now. Just as he was gathering his courage to jump, he froze. Pictures flashed through him of the times towards the end when his safe circle had caved in on him. Q came close and said, I know it can be hard to trust that I will keep my shape, that my circle will stay strong, but I have something that Big O did not. Little U cocked his head, curious now. 
See my base? It's like a kickstand. It keeps me stable. I will not roll away. Even if you try to push me away, I can't go far. So let's just stick together and keep making beautiful words. So they did. The end. Okay, so for those of you who are using this to uh, share with a client, feel free to stop the video after I finish reading this story. But I wanted to show you a way that at the Trauma Play Institute, we kind of augment this. Um, we are big believers in the Circle of Security Project, and we talk about being both secure base and safe haven frequently at Nurture House and um, teach it in our Trauma Play model. So we keep uh, these simple paper, paper plates, and certainly within a family who's at home right now, they will have, if not paper plates, they will have some sort of circular surface. You can even use an upside down Frisbee as the safe circle environment, or you can use a plate um, that's just in their kitchen uh, or cut a circle out of something else. Uh, but the idea here is that we can create our own safe circle and talk some with kids and families about what are um, in, in their safe circle for them. And that might look like people. So they might choose um, different figures or symbols to be different people who are safe in their environment. Um, they may decide to create a symbol for each of those people out of clay. Um, they may also... Um, be able to do that even just with rocks if you have them go outside into their own environments and choose rocks from the natural environment one to be each of their family members <clears throat> so I'm going to choose this one here that um, I happen to have in my collection at home um, to be my daughter she's one of my safe circles and um, the heart represents all the really cool parts of her that are um, represented there <clears throat> this one is um, for my husband, who is a, a strong rock for me. This one is for um, my youngest son, Nicholas, who is just always brings me joy and delight. Lastly, they could draw uh, pictures of their safe people um, or the things in their environment that help them to be safe. So grounding experiences, even certain smells and tastes and tactile sensations, like a heavy blanket that they wrap themselves in at nighttime, um, could also be put as icons of what helps to create a safe circle for an individual child, adolescent, or parent. This can be a really cool activity to do in tandem, where everyone has their own plate or their own circle, and everyone is designing their own safe circle after reading the book. So feel free to adapt that to your needs. And if you have further questions or want more information on the Trauma Play model, you can find me on Facebook at Paris Goodyear Brown um, or Nurture House in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, you can look for me on um, the traumaplayinstitute.com website or nurturehouse.org's website as well. So take care, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your day.